Testimony on the Revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter To everyone attending the Shincheonji Online Seminar, to the pastors, theology students, and saints who have the hope of Kingdom of Heaven residing all over the world, it is truly great to meet you all. I am Kang Seonggyung, who is the host of today's event. First of all, I truly give thanks to Father God who allowed this seminar and I truly thank everyone who has visited the Sincheonji online seminar which is being broadcasted around the world. At this time, before the word is testified, with the same heart, let us pray to Father God. Our holy and most holy Father God, 2,000 years ago, as Jesus promised the words of the new covenant, today, as you have fulfilled and showed the physical fulfillment, and through the Shincheonji chairman, whom you have chosen, who have seen and heard all the events of the book of Revelation, you have sent him as a messenger who speaks on behalf of Jesus to testify to all the churches around the world. We truly thank you. Especially at this time today, through the testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter, Shincheonji Online Seminar, there are many pastors, theology students, and saints who are attending. Please guide us so that we can realize God's true will. Also, with the revealed word that becomes testified, let us all become one. So please guide us so that we can all become one family of God. Today, at this time, as the instructor testifies your word, please manage his lips. And to all of us who are receiving the word, please allow it to become a precious time filled with grace and gratitude. All this prayer we pray in the name of Jesus, who has died for our sins. Amen. Testimony on the Revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter Shincheonji Online Seminar. Today, we'll be continuing from last time. It will be the Intermediate Level Education, Lesson 2, The Kingdom of Heaven in the Physical World, Created According to the Heaven in the Spiritual World. Through the word that is testified, at today's time of the fulfillment of Revelation, let us find out about the kingdom of heaven in the spiritual world and the kingdom of heaven in the physical world created according to the spiritual world. And through this, let us be the ones who can find and participate in the promised kingdom of heaven and eternal life. At this time, let us greet Peter Tribe Suncheon Church Head Instructor, Yi dong Instructor. Greetings to all the pastors, theology students, and saints around the world who have the hope of Kingdom of Heaven and eternal life. It is great to meet you all at this time. My name is Yi dong -soo. I'm the head instructor of Suncheon Church of Shincheonji Church of Jesus, Peter Tribe. The testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter. We sincerely thank you for attending the Shincheonji Online Seminar. The word that we will meditate together today is Intermediate Level Education Lesson 2. Title is, The Kingdom of Heaven in the Physical World, Created According to the Heaven in the Spiritual World. Today's main reference will be Exodus 25, Matthew 6, verse 10, Revelation 4, and Revelation 21. As pastors have read the Bible a lot, there may be pastors who know well about today's topic, but there can also be those who are not very familiar about it. However, it will be greatly appreciated if you could listen well to this lesson and we can find the answer to the will of God recorded inside the Bible. The hope of all believers is to enter the kingdom of heaven. 
Regarding the kingdom of heaven, we must realize accurately whether we go to the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of heaven comes to us. The Creator God told us through the Bible where is the kingdom of heaven and also what is the way to the kingdom of heaven. All the answers about the way to the kingdom of heaven, its address, its map, everything is recorded inside the book of Revelation. Through the word that is testified today, let us think about what is the relationship of this word and myself, and let us have a precious time to find the answer of Kingdom of Heaven, which is our hope. Now, let's look at the key points of today's reference. First of all, it is about God's will and purpose. The verse that explains well about God's will and purpose is recorded in Matthew 6 verse 10. Inside of the Lord's Prayer, the Lord has taught us that God's will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The heaven here that is mentioned is symbolizing the spiritual world. Earth is symbolizing the physical world. Then what is fulfilled in heaven and what will be fulfilled on earth? So what is fulfilled in heaven is a kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world and in what is fulfilled on earth, it is a kingdom of heaven of the physical world. Then secondly, then God who fulfills on the earth as it is in heaven then who does it show what has been fulfilled in heaven so therefore that it can be built on this earth? Therefore, God appoints one pastor in every era who have seen and heard the things of heaven. Therefore, God said in Amos 3 verse 7 that surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to service the prophets. Then thirdly, we will learn about the one pastor who sees the things of heaven in every era and fulfills it on earth. Firstly, at the time of Moses, it was only one person, Moses. In Exodus 25, 8, and 9, it is recorded, God chose Moses, and only to Moses God showed the things of heaven and commanded him to build it on this earth according to what he saw. Then at the time of the first coming, it was only Jesus. In John 5 verse 19, Jesus said, The Son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees his Father doing. Then, at the time of the first coming, it was only one person who went up to heaven, that was Jesus. The one that went to heaven and the one who saw next to God everything that God does, it was only one person, Jesus. The one who came on this earth and fulfilled it was also only one person, Jesus. Now, the most important is the time of the second coming. At the time of the second coming, it is New John. New John is referring to the promised pastor that Jesus promised in the New Testament Bible, Revelation. So it is recorded in Revelation 4 and Revelation 21 that Jesus calls New John to the spiritual world of heaven and shows everything of the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world and also shows the holy city New Jerusalem that comes down from heaven. Then, at the time of the second coming, when the Lord returns on this earth, there's only one promised pastor that goes up to the heaven, it is New John. The one who went to heaven and saw all the kingdom of heaven in the spiritual world, there's only one person, New John. And only the one who saw it can create God's kingdom of heaven on this earth. Then fourthly, then as God says, what is, what is God's reason and purpose why He wishes to fulfill the kingdom of heaven on this earth as it is in heaven? Originally, God's will was that God wished to become one with people and live together with people. That was the will of Creator God. So God created the spiritual world and also created the spirit of physical world. And God created men according to the image of God. And that first man, it was Adam. And God gave all creation that God created 
to Adam for Adam to look after it and rule over it. However, as a spirit that betrayed Satan the devil appeared, the work of deception happened. The first man, Adam, who was created according to the image of God, betrayed God. And because God couldn't live together with the sinners anymore, because of sin of men, God left men and also the global village. About how God left, that content is recorded well in Genesis 6, 1-3. Then this global village where the Creator God has left, for 6,000 years it was Satan the devil that was ruling over this world. Therefore God, in order to find back and restore everything that God created, God sent the apostles and disciples and told us about God's situation, God's position, and God told us about God's purpose. God appointed God's chosen people in every era and made a covenant with them and worked through them. However, all the chosen people that God made a covenant with, they all betrayed the word of God, the word of the covenant, as they sinned. And Jesus said in John 5 verse 17, My Father is always at His work to this very day, and I too am working. But all of God's will and all of God's purpose, all of God's hope, what is the event that allows that to be fulfilled? When does it all come to an end? It comes to an end in Revelation. It means in Revelation it is completed. Then what is God's purpose that God wishes to fulfill? God wishes to restore men and the global village and fulfill the world that God reigns over. In order to do that, just like as it is fulfilled in heaven, God must complete God's kingdom on this earth in the physical world as it is in heaven. That is when the kingdom heaven of the spiritual world and God all can come down, become one, and live together and becomes a world that God reigns over. Now, starting from the time of Moses, let's look at it one by one. About the kingdom heaven in the physical world, created at the time of Moses, let's look. First of all, Exodus 25, 8-9, let us read together. Then have them make a sanctuary for me, and I will dwell among them. Make this tabernacle and all its furnishings exactly like the pattern I will show you. Yes, thank you. In Exodus 25, 8-9, inside of these words that is recorded, God commanded to Moses, Make a sanctuary for me, I will dwell. Make this tabernacle and all its furnishings exactly like the pattern I will show you. That was a command. God called only Moses, and only to Moses showed the things of heaven. Then what God showed to Moses was the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world, that was the things of heaven. After showing the kingdom of heaven the, of the spiritual world, Moses was commanded to build it on this earth according to what he saw, and that was a tabernacle that Moses built. Then, if this tabernacle was built according to the kingdom of heaven in the spiritual world, then this tabernacle also becomes the kingdom of heaven in the physical world. However, this kingdom of heaven in the physical world, as we see in Hebrews 8 verse 5, they serve as a sanctuary that is a copy and shadow of what is in heaven. The fact that it is a copy and shadow means it is not the true reality. Then, it also means there will be a time when the true reality will appear. And also, when we see Hebrews 9, 9-10, this tabernacle is an illustration for the present time. If it is an illustration, it also means there will be the reality of it. And it also says, it is until the time of the new order. Then, at the time of the new order, there will be something new that will appear as well. Then God's true tabernacle, God's temple, God's kingdom, what will be the reality of it, and when would it appear? That finally appeared at the time of the first coming of Jesus. So secondly, 
the kingdom of heaven of the physical world created at the time of the first coming of Jesus. The reality of the kingdom of heaven in the physical world, I will explain. First of all, let's read John 5, 19. Jesus gave them this answer. I tell you the truth. The Son can do nothing by Himself. He can only do what He sees His Father doing. Because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. Yes, thank you. In John 5, 19, this is what Jesus said. The Son can do nothing by Himself. He can do only what He sees His Father doing. Because of whatever the Father does, the Son also does. In John 3, verse 13, No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man is said. Then at the time of the first coming, there's only one person who went up to heaven, that was Jesus. The one who went to heaven and the one who saw all the work that the Father did right next to him it was only one person, Jesus, the one who came onto this earth and fulfilled it according to what he saw in heaven. It was one person, Jesus. Also, what is most important to us is John 2, 19-21. Jesus, he saw the physical building of Jerusalem, physical temple of Jerusalem, and then what he said was, destroy this temple, I'll raise it again in three days. The Jews who heard it, who didn't understand, misunderstood. However, Jesus was referring to his own flesh, his own body, that was God's temple, the spiritual Jerusalem. So therefore, now the true temple of God was Jesus. The reason why, in John 1, 32, as Jesus was baptized, he came out of the water, and as the heavens opened, there was a Spirit of God that came down to Jesus like a dove. God's Holy Spirit is a spirit. However, Jesus is in a body. As God's Holy Spirit comes down and was together in Jesus' flesh, Jesus' body was now the temple where God worked through. So therefore, the true temple of God is not a tent, it is not a tabernacle, it is not a building, it is a people's heart. So that is why in 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16, Paul said, Do you not know that you yourselves are God's temple and the God's Spirit lives in you? Also, Jesus said in Matthew 4, verse 17, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Then that content, then that God in heaven also, the kingdom of heaven also came down onto this earth. Then who did it come down to? It came down to Jesus. Therefore, at the time of the first coming, the reality of the kingdom of heaven in the physical world, it was the spiritual Israel, 12 tribes, that was made out of Jesus and the 12 disciples. Now God, as He is in spirit, He becomes one with Jesus who is in flesh, and God was fulfilling all the promises of the Old Testament. However, all the Jews in that era, nobody realized. And that is why in John 1 verse 11, He came to that which was His own, but His own did not receive Him is what is said. Rather, they opposed Jesus, persecuted Jesus, and condemned Jesus as a cult, and crucified Jesus on the cross. So therefore, even God left. Kingdom of Heaven also left. And also, Jesus left. However, there was a purpose why, God, why Jesus went to heaven. So what is the purpose why Jesus went to heaven? What was it for Him to fulfill? According to Matthew 6, verse 10, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Then firstly, there must be something that is fulfilled in heaven. 
only then it can be fulfilled on earth as well. So, in order to fulfill it in heaven, Jesus went. Then what is it that he wanted to fulfill? In John 14, 2-3, I am going there to prepare a place for you, is what he said. And when that place is all prepared, Jesus returns. In Matthew 25, 31-34, there is a, a nation, a kingdom that is prepared, which will be inherited to the sheep-like believers. Then, what Jesus fulfilled in heaven, the place that he prepared, what is the reality of it? Inside of the four Gospels, no matter how much we read, the answer is not there. The answer is in Revelation. So as we see in Revelation, Revelation 21, in the spiritual world, there is a holy city, New Jerusalem, in heaven. This is what is fulfilled in heaven, and this is the place that Jesus prepared. It is that reality. Then for us, what is this holy city? And at the time of the second coming, when the Lord returns on this earth, if we are the believers who have the hope of heaven, we must certainly know about this. Why do we have to know about this? In Matthew 6 verse 10, it's because it says, it is to be fulfilled on this earth as it is in heaven. What is fulfilled in heaven is the holy city, New Jerusalem. Then likewise, on this earth, there must be the kingdom of heaven in the physical world, God's kingdom that is created. Then afterwards, the holy city, New Jerusalem, it becomes one coming down to God's kingdom that is created on this earth. If we truly have the hope of kingdom of heaven, the holy city, New Jerusalem, who did Jesus show it to? And who can create it on this earth? When, how, and where is that place that is created? All the answer of this is inside the words of Revelation. And this revelation, without adding, without taking away, all the word that is written inside here will all be fulfilled. At the time of the second coming, by seeing the holy city New Jerusalem, who is the one who creates it on this earth? That kingdom of God that is created. In other words, where is that kingdom of heaven in the physical world? So thirdly, the kingdom of heaven in the physical world created at the time of the second coming of Jesus, I would like to explain. First of all, about the promised pastor who saw the things of heaven, I will explain. The promised pastor is also referred as New John. Inside the New Testament Bible, the pastor that Jesus promised, the one overcomes, is referred as New John. And in Revelation 10, and in Revelation 22 verse 8, and in verse 16, I would like to explain this first. First of all, this revelation, it is a book that God himself has recorded, and God sealed it with seven seals, and God held it in his right hand for 2,000 years. So no one in heaven or under heaven on this earth, there's no one who can see or look inside of this book. But this seal book, only Jesus has taken. And from Revelation 6 to Revelation 8, the seven seals becomes open and the book becomes an open book. And that open book, Jesus, through the angel, gave it and fed it to New John. Then the one who received the open book is only one person, New John. And also Jesus, as Jesus opened the seals of this open book, one by one, one by one, and fulfilled all the events, there was one person who saw all the events of the fulfillment right next to Jesus at the place of the events. According to Revelation 22 verse 8, it is only one person, New John. And in Revelation 22:16, Jesus said, 
I will send my angel, my messenger, to testify these things to the churches. Then, these things is referring to the prophecy of the book of Revelation and its fulfilled physical reality. Then New John becomes Jesus' messenger who testifies these things to all the churches. He becomes the witness who has seen all the events of the fulfillment. There is one more thing that Jesus showed to New John. In Revelation 4, Jesus is called from this earth to heaven and all the kingdom of heaven and the spiritual world was shown to him. So New John, he saw something in heaven. It was the order and the structure of God's throne in the kingdom of heaven in the spiritual world. So he saw the 24 elders, the seven spirits, the four living creatures from east, west, north, and south. He also saw God. He also saw the many, many, many eyes which were the spirits of the thousands upon thousands of angels. And there was also, in heaven, there was something that he heard. He heard that this will come down onto this earth. Even God, even the kingdom heaven of the spiritual world will come down onto this earth. Then when would it come down? Where would it come down? To whom would it come down to? We must realize this accurately, isn't it? Also, in Revelation 21, it is the holy city, New Jerusalem, that comes down from heaven. This now becomes shown. The image of the holy city New Jerusalem and its structure is explained well from Revelation 21, 9-22. However, because of the constraint of time, we will only read Revelation 21, 10-14. And he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain great and high, and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It shone with the glory of God, and its brilliance was like that of a very precious jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with twelve gates, and with twelve angels at the gates. On the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. There were three gates on the east, three on the north, three on the south, and three on the west. The wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Yes, you have read well. We read the content of Revelation 21, 10-14. Firstly, New John is brought up in spirit, goes up to a high mountain, and he is shown the holy city New Jerusalem that comes down from God in heaven. Then, at the time of the second coming when the Lord returns, the one who went up to heaven is only one person, New John. The one who saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, is also one person, New John. And also, the one who can build it on this earth according to what he saw is also one person, only New John. Then when we see the structure of this holy city, New Jerusalem, it is an image of a cube. There are three gates on each side. There are twelve gates, and on top of the gates, there's the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. And the city of the wall, there are twelve foundations, and there's the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb that is recorded. In verse 19, these twelve foundations are the twelve precious stones, the treasures. In verse 22, one does not see inside of this temple, it is because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are His temple. Then this holy city, New Jerusalem, who will be at the center of it? And how was it newly created in heaven? So it was Jesus in the center and the twelve apostles who became the twelve foundation stones. It is such holy city, New Jerusalem, that was created. So therefore, it says New Jerusalem, it says New. The reason why it's called New Jerusalem is because it is not the thing of old, it is thing of new. Then what is old and what is new? The things of old was, it means it is not the things of heaven that was shown at the time of Moses, but as Jesus is at the center and the twelve apostles become the twelve foundation stones, it becomes the kingdom of heaven and the spiritual world that is newly created. 
Then, even the promised pastor, as Jesus made the new thing in heaven, also promised pastor must create on this earth not the old, but the new thing on this earth. So the promised pastor, according to what he saw in heaven, he creates the new spiritual Israel 12 tribes. According to the names of the 12 apostles of Jesus, they become the spiritual names, and the 12 tribe leaders are appointed. It is not the tabernacle of the old Jerusalem, but is the tabernacle of the new Jerusalem that is created. So this in Revelation 21 verse 1, it says, The first heaven, first earth passed away. It is a new heaven, new earth that is created. Then, at the time of the second coming, when the Lord returns, just like as it is fulfilled in heaven, there must be the reality of the kingdom of heaven in this physical world that is created. What will be that reality? That reality is the new spiritual Israel, 12 tribes, fulfilled through the one who overcomes and the 12 tribe leaders. That becomes the reality of the kingdom of heaven in the physical world. Then how did the one overcome create the twelve tribes? The time of the second coming when the Lord returns, it is called, it is the time of harvest. At the time of harvest, those who are born of God's seed are harvested, sealed with the revealed word, and the new kingdom, new people, twelve tribes are created. It is recorded exactly according to the words of Revelation 14 and Revelation 7. Just like Moses saw the things of heaven and built the tabernacle on this earth, at the time of the second coming of the Lord, at the fulfillment of Revelation, the promised pastor, New John, goes up to heaven and he sees the holy city, New Jerusalem, fulfilled in heaven, and then he fulfills God's new kingdom, new people on this earth. All believers carry out a life of faith to go to heaven, just like as it is fulfilled in heaven. There is the kingdom of heaven fulfilled on this earth. Going to that kingdom of heaven is the way to go to God and go to kingdom of heaven. The reason is because God and the kingdom of heaven all come down to the kingdom of heaven created on this earth. It is not that God and the kingdom of heaven that is simply in the spiritual realm of heaven but comes down onto the kingdom of heaven in this physical world. Where would that place be? Now, I would like to explain about the kingdom of heaven in the physical world where the spirit and flesh becomes one. God and the kingdom of heaven, where and to whom do they come down to? First of all, it is written that it comes down to the promised pastor, the one overcomes. When we look at the words of the Old Testament prophecies, which were fulfilled at the time of the first coming, God and the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world came down to Jesus, the one overcomes. And by that, as it became one with Jesus, all the words of promise of the Old Testament were fulfilled. But now, in Revelation 3 verse 12, the name of God, the name of the Holy City New Jerusalem, the new name of Jesus, it is promised to be recorded on the one overcomes. That means, God and the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world, and also Jesus, will come down to the one overcomes. Also, it is recorded in verse 21, Jesus, to the one overcomes, I will allow him to sit, for him to sit on my throne, just as I overcame and sat on my Father's throne. Therefore, the one who can sit on the throne of Jesus, it is only the one overcomes. And secondly, it is promised to come to Mount Zion in Revelation 14, 1-5. In Mount Zion, God's throne is there, and also Jesus is there as well. This Mount Zion, then who is there? The sealed 144,000. Only they can sing the new song, it says, and they, at the time of harvest, are the first fruits who are harvested. It is recorded in verse 4. Also, on top of new spiritual Israel 12 tribes, God promised to spread His tent over it. 
in Revelation 7. Firstly, the sealed 12 tribes, 12,000 each from each tribe, 144,000 are sealed. After they are sealed, there is a great tribulation. Inside of this great tribulation, those who washed themselves with the blood of the Lamb, they are those countless Numerous people come, they become the great multitude in white. That is a creation of the great multitude in white. Then these 144,000 and the multitude in white, they are the 12 tribes who become the new spiritual Israel, 12 tribes, God's family. Then, this new spiritual Israel, 12 tribes, 144,000 and the multitude in white, on top of them, in Revelation 7, verse 15, God promised to spread His tent over them. This tent that He spreads over them is the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world. It is the holy city, New Jerusalem. Then even God, even Jesus, even the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world, who do they come down to? To the new spiritual Israel, 12 tribes, 144,000 and the multitude in white. It is to them the tent is spread. Also, it is promised to come to the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. Those who are victorious over the group of the dragon in Revelation 12, they are gathered before the sea of glass, which is before the throne of God. So, the temple that they are gathered at is called the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. At this temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, God's throne is open. So, therefore, God, Jesus, and the angels are there together. So, therefore, it says all nations will come and worship there. And it is called the temple of the tabernacle of testimony. That means there's a witnesses who have seen and heard all the events of the book of Revelation. Therefore, it testifies the words of prophecy and also the physical fulfillment. It is the tabernacle of the testimony. Also, it's a temple because holy God is dwelling inside of this holy temple. Furthermore, it will come down to new heaven and new earth. In Revelation 21, 1-4, it is to the new heaven, new earth that God comes down to. The holy city, New Jerusalem, comes down to there. So therefore, God's tabernacle will be together with the people. As God dwells with them, they become God's people, and God will be with them and be their God. God will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old order of things has passed away, it is said. So, God, even the kingdom of heaven, will come down to new heaven, new earth, which is Shincheonji. And by that, there is no more death or suffering, or pain, it is a world of paradise of eternal life that is fulfilled. When these words of Revelation 21 are fulfilled, that is when God's will and God's purpose becomes fulfilled, and that is when our hope also becomes fulfilled. God and the tabernacle of God for the first time in 6,000 years will come down onto this earth, and it is a world where God reigns over. Now, more than anything, what is important is according to the New Covenant, Revelation, it is Shincheonji 12 tribes that is created. It is fulfilled on this earth as it is in heaven, God's kingdom, Shincheonji 12 tribes, I would like to explain. Shincheonji 12 tribes created according to the New Covenant, Revelation. Shincheonji 12 tribes, the organization is fulfilled according to the one ever comes and the twelve tribes. In Revelation 7, it is the twelve tribes. Revelation 4, it is the structure of God's throne. God, the twenty-four elders, seven spirits, four living creatures, thousands upon thousands of spirits. This is how God's structure of the throne is formed. It is fulfilled on this earth as it is in heaven. The spiritual names is using the twelve, the names of the twelve apostles of Jesus. That is according to Revelation 21 verse 14. The name of the church is called 
Shinchonji Church of Jesus, Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony. This is a really promise inside Revelation, the New Testament Bible. It is a promised kingdom that is created. It is the name of God's promised people. In Revelation 21, it's called New Heaven, New Word, which is Shincheonji. In Revelation 15, Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony. Therefore, in terms of Shincheonji, the prophecy of the New Testament Four Gospels and the Book of Revelation is like the blueprint for the creation of Shincheonji Twelve Tribes. And the Shincheonji Twelve Tribes, in terms of the names of people, even geographical locations, and the name of the church organization, just like stamping a seal, it is created according to the promise of the Bible. Shinjongji 12 tribes is God's promised kingdom, promised people. According to what is promised inside the Bible, it has been created, it is a promised kingdom and people. Therefore, inside of this global village, the only place that is created according to the book of Revelation, According to the Bible, the only place that is created as it is in heaven on this earth, it is Shincheonji 12 tribes. Everyone, please check. According to the promise of the Bible, if it has been created accurately according to the Bible, please check and believe. And if it is made according to the will of man, then you don't have to believe in it. But certainly inside of the Bible, according to John 14 verse 29, Jesus said, I have told you now before it happens. So when it does happen, you will believe. Therefore, first of all, we must realize the words of prophecy of the Bible. And if it is truly fulfilled according to those words of promise, believing in the fulfillment is truly believing in God and believing in Jesus, isn't it? Wouldn't that be a true believer? So, please check, and everyone, according to the Bible, if it is fulfilled, then let us all be the ones who can believe and receive salvation. Let us all be such children of God, I pray. Now, today's words of conclusion will be explained. The tabernacle at the time of Moses was not the true reality. It was a copy and shadow. The reality of the kingdom of heaven on this earth that God is together with, at the time of the first coming, it was Jesus and the twelve disciples that represented the spiritual Israel. But in today's time of the second coming, it is the new spiritual Israel, twelve tribes created through the one overcomes. And God, according to His promise, the Holy City comes down to the new heaven and new earth, temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. This is the reality of the kingdom of heaven created in this physical world, fulfilled as it is in heaven. Shincheonji, as it is in heaven, it has been fulfilled on this earth. And according to the records of Revelation, its creation is the name of its denomination, its organization, the structure of its throne, the spiritual names. According to the promise of the Bible, it is God's promised kingdom. All congregation members, all saints, must go to New Heaven and New Earth, Shincheonji 12 tribes, where the promised pastor one overcome is at, and become his family as this is a place where the spiritual realm of God's tabernacle will come down and become together forever. Inside of this world, there are many believers who have the hope of God and the kingdom of heaven as they carry out a life of faith. And even the many numerous believers of today are like that. Then, where will one have to go to in order to go to God and kingdom of heaven? Previously, we do not know where God is at. Where is the kingdom of heaven? We do not know. But today, now as revelation is fulfilled, we are able to know. And through the word of testimony today, we would be able to realize the holy city, New Jerusalem, in heaven, it was shown to the one overcome 
by Jesus. And through the one overcomes, Shincheonji 12 tribes have been created on this earth. Shincheonji is created according to the promise of revelation. At this place, God and the kingdom of heaven and even Jesus will come down to. At the time of fulfillment of revelation, all saints who have hope in God and heaven should not try to go up to heaven, but together with the one overcomes that God promised, and Shincheonji 12 tribes one must go to in order to meet God, kingdom of heaven, and Jesus. Let us all realize and enter heaven. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will all inherit eternal life. Now, next lesson will be Intermediate Level Education, Lesson 3. There will be an instructor who teaches much better than me and who will deliver the word. With a high anticipation, next time we will meet again with a joyful heart. Now, lastly, Inside of God and in Jesus, with the meaning that we are one, we will shout, we are one and complete. We, overcoming races, nationality, and religion, we are one. We are one. All together, let us pray. To the foundation of eternal life and the creation of heaven and the earth, our Father God, today at this time, for all the spirits of the people who long for your word of life, as you guided us all to your word, we sincerely give you all thanks. Also, through the Shincheonji Online Seminar, Testimony of the Revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter, we once again thank you for allowing this seminar. Today we learned Intermediate Level Education Lesson 2 The Kingdom of Heaven and the Physical World Created According to the Heaven and the Spiritual World All the pastors around the world The Creator God is only one and the Bible is one and the truth is only one So inside of the Word of the Creator God Please allow us to all become one And please allow all saints That Kingdom of Heaven that we all long for Please allow us to receive that eternal life and be able to receive such inheriting blessing. Please allow all the pastors to receive such blessing. With all the people who have gathered here today, please allow physical and spiritual health and in their businesses, in their families, please allow them everything to be successful. Please allow your grace. All these things we pray in the most holy name of Jesus as He guides us to life. Amen. Yes, thank you so much for listening well until now. God does not simply just judge the betrayed chosen people. However, what God wanted, it was conversation. In Isaiah 2 verse 1, the Judah and Jerusalem, it is a recreated chosen people after the events of betrayal and destruction. They are God's new kingdom, new people. God promised to come back to Zion. Then, where is this Mount Zion where God, who is life, returns to? Yes, through the word that is testified today, the kingdom of heaven in the physical world created according to the heaven in the spiritual world, I trust that it was a precious time to realize. According to the promise of revelation, just like as it has been fulfilled in heaven, the place that is fulfilled on this earth. It is a kingdom heaven of the physical world. It is Shincheonji 12 tribes. By realizing this fact, many pastors of churches around the world are now entering into MOU with Shincheonji. To all the people watching this video, according to God's promise, what He created, the heaven on this earth, Shincheonji 12 tribes, I hope you will also participate and receive kingdom of heaven and eternal life. Next time, we will learn intermediate level education 3, the order of betrayal, destruction, salvation of the chosen people. Time will be the same time, 10 a.m. 
Please all participate and let us all realize the true meaning of God's words. And also, if you have any curiosity about Shincheonji Church of Jesus or the Revealed Word, please contact these numbers shown on the screen, the numbers representing each tribe. We'll be glad to kindly guide you. By doing the Lord's Prayer all together, we will complete all orders. Our Father in Heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. To all the family of God who are here together, we sincerely thank you.